Good morning guys, welcome back to the coffee bar. Little taste of Italy. So you know what to do. Grab a cup of your favorite brew, sit back, put your feet up. Let's go. Today, Lavazza coffee. Now, I've had Lavazza coffee before, but not this one. Uh, this, uh, I'm going to be 100% honest. What attracted me to this coffee was the packaging, the black bag. I mean, look. Matte black bag. I mean, that's, that just says great coffee right on the other side. It's not open. Haven't had it. And... This is not a sponsored video, so YouTube, don't go thinking it's sponsored. It's not. Lavasa doesn't even know that I'm making this. So, as always, we're going to try it black. We're going to try it with milk. We're going to put it in the Keurig. I still don't have an espresso machine. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. They're a lot of money, and I don't want to buy garbage. That's kind of where it's at. So what I'm going to do is I am going to fill my pod just like every other coffee that we do and it's gonna be completely the same I will tell you this is a whole bean so I'm gonna to have to put it in the grinder and get it going didn't mean to point that out just bear with me I'll tell you about this in a second that's interesting I'm glad it didn't rip all right, let's see what we have. Oh boy. Whew, that is smelling delicious. Now, this does not have the twist top ties on it. That's what this is. This is their seal. It says authentic Italian quality from 1895. Now, the significance of 1895 is when Lavazza was started. And you can't see this in Nora. Even if I zoomed in, you're not going to see it. But there's a circle with a small outline of Italy. So this is what you reseal your bag with. Let's get this into the blunt. Get this in the blender. Let's get this in the grinder. And try some coffee. It'll be a tick noisy. Give me a second. Oh, better put the lid on her. Fly everywhere. Just kidding, I wasn't saying a word. We're done. All right. Oh, my God. That is really different. Got a little bit of a medicinal smell to it. Prior to grinding it, I thought I could smell chocolate in the bag, but that may have been just my nose. We're going to take this right out of the fresh grind. There we go. Now, it says it's a dark roast. It, it doesn't seem as dark as some of the stuff that I already have, but we're going to give it a shot. And no, I have not tried this coffee yet. All right, let's talk about Lavazza Coffee Company, briefly. Lavazza Coffee Company, obviously it says right on the bag, the company was started in 1895 in Torino, Italy. I don't have it up on the website, so I'm gonna to read to you what's on the bag here. The product is made in Italy, produced by Luigi Lavazza in Torino, Italy. Distributed by Lavazza Premium Coffees Corporation, 120 Wall Street, New York, New York. Obviously, they have their distributor in New York that takes care of it from there. Briefly about the... That was quick. All right, briefly about the Lavazza Coffee Company. Since 1895, four generations of Lavazza family 
have devoted their lives to the pursuit of coffee protection. Coffee per <gasps> coffee perfection. Oof, some things just never change. One delicious cup, and you'll know why it's Italy's favorite coffee. Let your passion be the pleasure. Now, also on the back of the bag here, uh, it is a dark roast coffee. It says Discover Sinfonico. And if I pronounce that wrong, I apologize. I believe that is a type of bean. I don't know, to be honest with you. A balanced blend of slow roasted Arabica and robust. Oh. Okay. So, Sinfonico is a balanced blend of slow roasted Arabica and Robusta beans with chocolate notes and a rich aroma. I can tell you that was the first thing I smelled when I opened up this bag is the chocolate. They've been around since 1895. I'm going to hazard a guess that they know a little bit about coffee or a lot about coffee. So here we go. Black. There's a little bit of a chocolate smell. It's not an overly strong coffee smell. You hear Ella up there? She knows I'm making a video, so she desperately wants in here. So that's not bad. I cannot taste the chocolate as much as I can smell the chocolate in the bag. It does have a nice rich coffee taste. I cannot taste the chocolate as much as I can smell the chocolate in the bag. If that makes any sense to you. Alright. Let's do the milk. Not a lot, obviously. Here we go. The milk pretty much diluted the taste altogether, so this is a coffee that I would drink black. If you watch my reviews, you'll see that I'm finding more and more coffees that I prefer to drink black. Maybe I just put milk in some of them just for habit. The beans are really dark. It is a dark roast. However, it doesn't have that almost burnt taste. So I'm not sure whether it was stopped just before the dark roast or right at dark roast. But nevertheless, that's pretty good coffee. I could drink this coffee in the evening and not worry about being up all night either. Lavazza Coffee Company. Uh, definitely a recommended coffee. Uh, no it is not sponsored. I'm not being paid to say that. It's just a good cup of coffee. Now this particular bag here I think cost me $12 and $12.49 Canadian. And it is a 12 ounce bag. So not bad. That's pretty much in line with everyone else. Would I recommend the Lavazza Coffee? Absolutely, it's pretty good coffee. It's not going to keep you up all night. I don't know that it would kick me in the ass to get me going in the morning, but it's got a pretty good taste to it. Black, not with milk. Some people say that's the way you're supposed to drink coffee. You're supposed to drink it black. What do I always say? The best way to drink coffee is the way you like to drink it. Regardless of what people say. That's it. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you all in the next one. Later. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're... Taste of Italy.